Namaste. I'm Archana. Welcome to Make Yoga a Daily Habit. If you're new here, I have the last 30 days of videos available on my channel. Whenever you are ready to begin your journey, you can always visit it. As we come to the end of this 30-day journey in mindful movement, I invite you to close your eyes and move organically, tuning into your body's intelligence. I will name the asanas but not be giving any alignment cues because I want you to trust your body to take you through this whole session. So we'll begin by sitting in a comfortable seated position, keeping our back straight. Palms are in receiving, shoulders squared, chin parallel to the earth and eyes are closed. If you're not comfortable closing your eyes, you can always keep a soft gaze. Now bring your awareness to your breath. Breathe in through your nose. Now pull your navel back towards your spine and breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in. Exhale completely. One more breath in. Pushing your belly forward. Nice length in your spine. And as you breathe out, pull your navel back towards your spine. Push all the air out, either through your nose or mouth. I'm going to continue to keep my eyes closed, drop my chin in the direction of my chest and I'm going to begin drawing small circles in the air with the tip of my nose. Three clockwise and three anti-clockwise. From here, we're going to move into body rotations. Eyes can stay closed. Just moving towards the right. Go down towards the floor. Left and back. If you want to, you know, peek, you can always look and then go back to closing your eyes. Three anti clockwise, now you're going to swing your legs to one side, come onto your tabletop. Wrist beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hip. Breathe in and ground Marjorie Asana and Bhitilasana here. You can bend your elbows deeply. Here I'm going to move into my hovering tabletop, Bharmanasana. Press into the mat and just lift your knees up, toes are engaged. This is one asana that I've come to love. And drop down, placing the front of my feet. Again, the next variation in hovering tabletop. Stay here for a breath or two. Engage your toes, lift. Arms in line with your ears. Just pedaling, bending one knee, trying to drop the other heel.
full step my right leg between my palms adjust my back leg into Vira Badrasana breathe in reach if you're not comfortable here especially when you move from the floor up you can always open your eyes Straighten your knee and fold into your extended pyramid. Stay here for as many breaths as you want to. Coming to my plank. Shwanasana, upward dog, pressing into the mat, and downward dog. Step my left leg between my palms, adjust my back leg, breathe in. Vira Bhadrasana. Trying to stay here for two or three breaths. Back to my downward dog. Come into my plank. Udho Mukha Shwanasana Udho Mukha Shwanasana Walk both my feet between my palms Teeth bend in my spine Breathe in. Ardha Hastha Udhasana. Deep spinal flexion. Bending your knee. Crown of the head towards the mat. Back to your Ardha Hastha Udhasana. Breathe in. All the way up. Breathe out. With Katasana chair pose. Breathe out. Fold forward. Breathe in. Your chair. Utkatasana. Step your right leg behind. Turn. Bhira Badrasana too. From Bhira Badrasana, we're going to go to our Parshava Konasana, Uttita Parshava Konasana. Stretch and reach. Circles in your arm clockwise. Two and three anti clockwise. Three. Place your palms on the mat. Move into your Prishthasana lizard pose. your right foot excuse me your right palm into the mat turn 
and twist towards the left side. Come back. Downward dog. This time, I'm going to step my right leg between my palm. Adjust my back leg. Breathe in. Come all the way up. Read up Adrasana. Bring my right hand on the inside of my right foot and stretch. Do the Parshva Konasana. Two and three circles in your arms. Clockwise and anti clockwise. Three. Drop your hands to the mat. Come to your lizard pose. Breathe in. Back to your downward dog to lie on your belly. Palms beneath your shoulders. As you breathe in, come to your Pujangasana. Breathe out. Down. Once again, breath in. Come all the way up. Turn and look. Towards your right heel. Back to the mat. And come all the way up. Turn and look towards your left heel. Drop down. Press your knees into the mat. And your toes sit back and stretch. In Shashankasana. Or your child pose, Uttita Balasana. Extended child pose. Just observing your thoughts, noticing, becoming aware. You don't want to try and change anything here. And you'll just swing your legs to one side. In front of us, breathe in, reach your hands up, stretch your hands all the way towards the ceiling, keeping your back nice and straight, fold forward. Your Paschimottanasana. I'm so used to giving alignment cues. It's just coming so naturally. Breathe in and come up. Bend your knees. Come to your boat pose. Now, Kasana. Either be in your half boat or full. Cross the right palm to your left shoulder, left to your right. Just crossing at your chest, just crossing your arms at your chest. It's just straight one leg back. 
three knots here. to your chest, breathing in, and breathing out, open your legs wide, coming to a Markatasana windshield wiper, drop to the right. to center, drop to your left. I'm going to repeat this for two or three times. Time if you can grab your foot, bring your sole of your feet to touch, lie down in soup the Baddha Konasana. Noticing the movement happening in your abdominal region. Shifting your attention to your breath as you breathe in, pushing your belly towards the ceiling as you breathe out, pulling your navel back towards your spine. Bringing your attention to the tip of your nose as you breathe in, noticing the cool air entering your nostril and as you breathe out, noticing the warm air on the top of your upper lip. Straighten your legs out, bringing both your feet to touch, arms come to rest next to your body. We're going to take one deep breath in. And we'll chant one round of Om, noticing the vibrations wash all through our body. Mm. You can continue to lie down here for as long as you want to. Thank you so much for joining me on this 30 day journey. I would love to hear from you in the comments below about your experience for the last 30 days. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. I really appreciate your support in spreading the word about my channel. Namaste.